Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to do is show you how to charge a battery bank. Now of course a battery bank is anytime you have more than one battery connected to each other, either in parallel or series. I was asked to do this video by one of my subscribers. When you see these videos, if you have a question about a follow-up or something, please ask. These are two 35 amp hour batteries. They are sealed lead acid. And at the moment, I have them connected in parallel, which means I have the positive connected to the positive and the negative connected to the negative. Now, these wires, okay, are a bit longer than you'd want them to be. You want your wires to be as short as possible, and that will make the charging and decharging much more efficient. But at the moment, this is just for demonstration purposes. Positive to positive, negative to negative makes it parallel, which means I'm extending the battery life of these batteries. So this is a 35 amp hour, and this is a 35 amp hour. Now that they're in parallel, they are both still 12 volts, but they are now 70 amp hours. That's what we do when we're doing it in parallel. We're doubling how much energy you can actually use. If you did it in series, then you would be taking the batteries and changing them from 12 volt to 24 volt. Just to show you an idea on what the difference is. Now, the question was, how do you charge a battery bank up as compared to a single battery? Well, really, there isn't a lot of difference. Let me show you. Over here, I have a charge controller. Fairly inexpensive one. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Just the same as you charge any other battery. You're going to take your clips. You're going to put the red on the red and the black on the black. And you'll see it starts to come on. And of course, there's nothing connected right now. So, it is now connected just like you would do if you were charging any other battery. What we have to do now is connect the solar panels. Okay, so I'm going to simply take the solar panels, connect them to the charge controller. Watch me put it in backwards, but that's all right. And you'll now see the charge controller says 0.1 amp. And you'll see the battery little indicator here starts to go up. And it shows that we are now charging the battery. See that right there? Little lines going up, charging. Okay, now, here's another interesting point when it comes to these. A lot of people will tell you, and I've seen videos on them, that when you charge a battery bank, which is two or more, you should actually put it on the positive of one battery to the, and the negative should go on the other battery. Or if you have a larger bank, positive on your first battery and negative on the last battery. But personally, I haven't found that to make any difference. To me, they charge the same. I've tested this several times on wet lead acid, sealed, and lithium. And they always charge the same. So what you want to do is test the equipment yourself. See what works best for you. If this simple way here works best for you like it does for me, do that. But if you find it works better to move the negative over to the other battery or to the end of your bank, then do that. As always, it's your equipment. Do what's best for you. So that's very simple way how you charge a battery bank with the solar panels. Connect the solar panels, of course, to the charge controller. Connect the charge controller to your battery bank. Also, when this battery bank is charging, can you use it? Yes. The answer is yes. I have several systems that are connected permanently to the charge controller and to the inverter, and they run 
constantly. So yes, while your battery bank is in use, if I had a con inverter connected to this and I was running something, I could still charge it. In fact, I prefer to do it that way. I like to keep the battery fully charged all the time. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Like and subscribe, as always. And shoestring 